I'm Diana, um, and I graduated from MCY in 2020. And I'm going to be taking you through a yoga video all about moving the body. There's going to be a lot of flows and circles that we're going to be doing with our body. And the aim is to basically just get blood flowing and getting our spine moving, our hips moving. And yeah, just introducing a little bit of fluidity. It's great for any time of the day. Um, in the morning, great for waking up the body. In the evening, great for winding down. And especially good for if you sit a lot or if you drive a lot throughout the day. Um, great for just kind of everything. Um, so yeah, follow along and I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to start with sitting down and the aim here is to basically just feel as comfortable as you can. So you can sit cross-legged. Um, what you can do to help you is you can um, get a cushion just to prop up your hips and just take a little bit of pressure off your back. And what you can also do here is if you're feeling a little bit of strain in, in your hips, what you can do is just get to blocks if you have them or again cushions, towels, just anything that can basically prop up your knees like so. And what you can do here is close your eyes or keep them open. Again, this, is, this, this isn't an exact science, it's a science is basically just what feels good for you and your body. So what we're going to start by doing is just breathing and checking in to the breath and kind of seeing what our body's doing, seeing how it feels, how it's breathing. What can be nice to really reset yourself um, before we get into the, the movement routine is take some deep breaths and sigh out as loudly as you possibly can. So inhaling and then ah, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, ah, I'll just do that about three times. Ah. And then just letting the breath return back to its normal rhythm. And we're not trying to change anything, we're just paying attention, kind of what's going on. And what we can also do is check into our posture. So does our spine feel rounded or are we quite straight? Where are our shoulders? Are they higher up than usual, are they maybe down to kind of a neutral position. And again, at the moment, we're not trying to change anything. It's just checking in, seeing what's going on. And once we've had a bit of time of paying attention to our breath, what we can do is move over to the body, um, kind of physical sensations. So starting with our head and our forehead and brain and this whole region here and just seeing what's going on. How does it feel? And you might not notice anything and that's, that's fine. Um, you might notice some tension or some tensing in the forehead, maybe some frowning. And again, we're just, we're just paying attention. We're just seeing, seeing what's going on. For you today, it might be quite, quite easy to let go of any tension that you might feel, or maybe it's slightly harder today. And all we're doing is just paying attention. Maybe that's enough for today. And 
then moving over to the face. So we can start at our eyebrows. Are they relax? Are we frowning? Our eyes, nose, basically all the little muscles in our face. How does our face feel today? Which might sound like a silly question, but maybe you've not really thought about it today or in a while, or maybe you have. And then moving over to our mouth, our lips, our jaw. We can carry quite a lot of tension in our, in our jaw throughout the day without realising. So again, just checking in, how does, how does our jaw feel? Can we maybe, if we're, if our teeth are touching, our top and our bottom, can we maybe release them a little bit? Maybe open our mouths a touch and see if that does anything. And we can keep doing that or we can return to the breath again. Before we move over to our neck and our shoulders and our upper back then like I asked earlier checking in with where our shoulders are are they propped up could we maybe utilizing the breath on the exhale trying to release them a touch and then maybe we can't release them so again just being okay with paying attention today just noticing allowing that to be enough. And then moving attention to our back, our upper back, mids, lower back, our spine, checking in with our posture, Seeing, can, do we feel anything? Is there, do we feel relaxed on our back? Do we feel any pain or any discomfort? Is there any points that need a good itch? And again, just paying attention. Maybe we can note these things. We can say discomfort, pain. Maybe we can say, wow, this actually feels quite relaxed. It feels, feels quite good today. And then coming to the front of the body, can we pay some attention to our arms? So we'll start with the right arm, hand, how are our fingers feeling? Maybe we, can, maybe we can introduce some movement as well. Starting just to well, do what I'm doing, start to move around. And then our left arm, are we feeling biceps and our forearms? Maybe we've been doing some exercise or lifting things, just checking in. And then our hands, our fingers. And then moving to our chest, how does our chest feel? Can we feel a, sens a sensation of the chest moving up and down? How does our breathing feel quite open today? Do we feel tight or just whatever you notice? And then moving down to our diaphragm and our bellies. What I, what I tend to do that can help is just taking my hands and putting it just kind of at my core area and just checking in. Seeing that if maybe by putting our hands in that area, does it kind of gently remind us to start breathing down there in our diaphragm? Sometimes when I take my hand to my diaphragm, it's like my brain's like, oh, I can I can breathe down here. That's quite cool. 
But again, there's no right or wrong here. If you feel breathing up in your chest, maybe you can take your hand and put it in your chest. It's all about noticing, just asking what's going on with my body today. Does my core area feel tight? Am I kind of holding anything in? Can I utilize the breath again and then the exhale? Maybe let that go. Or do I feel quite good down there? Do I feel quite relaxed, quite open? Sometimes there can be that, that kind of butterfly feeling if there's any kind of nerves or, you know, sometimes if you're hungry or anxious, maybe you can kind of look into that, label that, what could that be? And then coming down to our hips. How do our hips feel? Maybe if you're cross-legged, there's loads of little, little signs. Do your hips feel quite loose or are they tight? And then moving down to our legs, our quads, our big muscles. I like to take my hands and just start to feel around. How, how do my muscles feel? knees and then the backs, my hamstrings. You can straighten your legs as well. Keep, keep your legs bent as well if that's easier and checking the calves. Moving down to our feet. How do our feet feel? How do our toes feel? And then we can go back to sitting if you're not already there and just for a few more seconds here, checking in. Maybe after that introspection, you notice a difference in your breath or in how you're feeling. Even in that short little while, something could have changed. But if nothing's changed again, that's fine. There's no right or wrong. As long as we're paying attention and, and asking the questions. So we can go ahead and open our eyes if they're not already open. And what we're gonna do now is kind of really start to prod and, and, and feel, go a little bit deeper, see what's going on. So if you're sitting, you can straighten your legs, um, just straight ahead, straight in front of you, or you can maybe bend them and go into that kind of butterfly position. Um, or you can just kind of have them bent in front of you um, and what I like to do is just start by moving and shaking and really start to get that blood going before we move into the before we move into the movement we can just shake our legs um, what we can do is do some wrist circles our hands are going to support us a lot through this point, through, through this routine, so just getting them nice and loose. So you can clench and then do jazz hands. Just again, it's no right or wrong, it's just movement. As long as we're moving, as long as it feels okay and there's no pain, then we're good. And I like to clasp my hands together and just do some wrist circles this and then you can just point your fingers out, bring them in. If you're doing this from home, no one's watching, go for it. And then just shake your hands. And then what I like to do just with my muscles is create a fist for my hands and then just gently start to tap all these big muscles. So like forearms and your biceps be quite good if you've been maybe lifting some weights or doing, you know, if you like to climb, it'd be really nice just to get that blood moving. It just feels nice, you know, it's quite gentle, but it feels really nice. And then triceps, hope I'm getting all these muscle groups correct. And then we can move on to 
to another site. It's basically just introducing kind of movement, but it's also just kind of doing something nice for our body, just starting to look after them. This can feel really nice. The massages are great. I definitely don't get them enough, so this can be the next best thing. Um, and I'm doing the same. Just being like, hey, body, wake up. It's time to, it's time to move. It's time to do something nice today. And you can also do the kind of neck area. This was here, I totally forgot the name. And then just gentle again. And then we can move over to our legs. Just whatever feels good. Main sides of our thighs. Strings as well. Again, with the legs, this can be good if you do quite a lot of leg activities, if you cycle or run. And then we can do our glutes, our um, bum muscles as well. Use our calves. Now, the next thing. So, something I like to do, and you don't have to do this, um, but I assure you it feels great, is actually just start to massage our feet. Um, and I know some people don't like feet, and that's okay, no judgments here. Um, but what I kind of thought about a while ago was that I just really don't kind of give them any love. Um, they do a lot for me. I, I walk and I run and yeah, sometimes it's just nice to be like, hey, thanks, here's a nice little massage. Um, you might not be able to see exactly what I'm doing, but I'm basically just using my thumbs to just really go into the little um, crevices. Um, and basically, again, it's just massaging them. Maybe you can kind of pull your toes a little bit. If you're a little crack, that's always nice. Um, but it's basically again just being like, hey, we're gonna do something today. We're gonna we're gonna use you. Um, wake up. Um, it can be it can be really nice. And again, just moving your fingers, moving your toes, just getting getting the blood flowing. That's the main aim um, of today. Kind of with everything going on and having been in lockdown. I definitely did a lot of sitting, a lot of lying down, and a routine like this has been so great just to move. Um, yeah. Cool. Once we've done that, we can go back into sitting. This is us slowly getting into kind of more um, specific movements. So we're going to start with the head. And what we're going to do is just basically start to move the head in a few different directions. So first one's going to be side to side. So I really like to use the breath with this. So the breath is basically going to lead you into the um, into this movement. So you can take an inhale. And as you exhale, you can move to the right. So I basically like to stop as soon as my breath is stopped. Um, Inhaling, coming in, exhaling to the left. So I feel like the breath is what's keeping me from pushing further. And you can keep doing that a few more times, three to five times. Um, but really utilizing that breath. So taking big inhale and then using that exhale to take you to the sides. And it's that exhale that's gonna let you maybe go a little bit further each time. If not, that's completely fine. Just go to whatever point feels comfortable for you.
once you've done that, we're going to go um, forwards and backwards. So again, the breath is, is what's going to help us move in and out of the movement. So as we inhale, bending our head, bringing our chin, our chin towards our chest, and inhaling or exhaling, wherever you're at, inhaling on the way up. Starting to send our head backwards and exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Again, doing that about three to five times at your own pace. Um, again, also checking into the shoulders, seeing where, where they are at. Sometimes I find if you're able to release the shoulders a little bit, it can really create a lot more space for that movement. To side to side and up and down. And once you've done that, we're just going to do some circles with our heads. So we've done our side to side and then our forwards and backwards. And this is basically just going to take all those little corners out of the movement. So the way I like to do it is bringing my chest down, sorry, bringing my chin down and then sending my ear, my right ear towards my right shoulder. And then my head sending it back and round towards the left shoulder and then bringing my chin down again. And then again, using the breath. I'm just doing circles here. Again, just three to five times or more or less. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And here, trying not to push ourselves to go bigger. You might just want to do slightly smaller circles so there's not, it doesn't feel as though you're really sending your head back and forwards. That's okay. We don't want to be injuring ourselves or causing any pain, but if there's maybe a slight discomfort, kind of figuring that out. Is that, does that hurt or is that feeling as though maybe you're kind of releasing a bit of tension? Maybe it's just a little bit of from sitting or kind of any activity you've been doing. I've got a little bit of discomfort, this back muscle here, probably just from how I've been sleeping, but it doesn't feel like I'm hurting myself. It kind of feels nice as I move into it. So just trying to figure out that, that little subtlety there. And then going the other direction. So chin down. And then left ear to the left shoulder and sending our tops of our head back and round and then right ear to the right shoulder and then chin comes to the center again and then just repeating that a few times using the breath then to use the breath as my chin's coming down the exhale and then the, and then the inhale as I come round but yours might look a bit different today. You might be using the breath in the other direction, which is totally okay. okay. Then once we've done that, we're just going to move onto our hands and knees into kind of a tabletop position. So here, our hands are just going to be flat on the ground and you can stretch out your fingers just to give you a little bit more support. And then our knees, our hips are, are, are above our knees. Our toes, you can either have them, so the tops of your feet be flat on the mat or you can have your toes stretched under. I like to have that just because it feels like I'm kind of stretching my toes a little bit, but whatever whatever you're, you enjoy today, go for that. And then just bending 
So the movement here is we're pushing through our hands, just really feeling that expansion um, in our in our upper spine, but then we're also slightly bending our knees, our, our, our arms. And what we're going to do is a movement called cat cow. So I'll, I'll talk you through it and then allow you to do a few on your own. So as we inhale, we're going to drop the belly and start to send our chest and our head forward, sending our gaze up the way. And as we exhale, we're going to drop the chin, push into your hands and start to round your spine. And then you can send your gaze in between your thighs and drop your head. And then inhaling again, dropping the belly, sending the chest and head forwards, gaze upward. And what I like to do here is just squeeze my glute, squeeze my um, bum just a little bit to protect the lower back. And then exhaling, dropping the chin, pushing into the hands as we round our spine and send, and send our gaze backwards. And keep doing that a few times just at your own, at your own pace. If you feel like it's a little bit sore on your wrist, what you can do is create two fists. And instead of it being your hands, it's going to be your fists that, that support you. What you can also do is if you've got blocks, you can put two blocks down. Or if you've maybe rolled up pillow um, pillows or cushions or towels, they can help too. And what I find is actually that just creates a little bit more, creates a little bit more, more space and takes a little bit of pressure off my arms. Just continuing with those, we can introduce a little bit of circle, more fluid movement here. So what we can do is instead of coming forwards on our inhale, we can actually send our spine downwards and towards the right and then sending our gaze towards the left. This sometimes confuses me as well. And then as we exhale, we're going to round our spine, but we're rounding towards the right and then rounding towards the center and then rounding towards the left and then dropping towards the left and sending our gaze towards the left as well. Again, basically just moving our spine in a circle, if that makes any sense. Um, and then inhaling, sending our spine towards the right, rounding, and exhaling towards the left. And then we can inhale, Send our spine towards the left. Exhale as we round. So we're going to go into a child's pose. So what you can do here is just sit on the backs of your legs and then you can just create a little bit of space by opening up your hips and creating a little bit of space for your chest. And then what we can do is just head our chest towards the ground and our arms out in front of us. Um, alternatively, what you can do is actually just bring your legs together and you can still send your chest forward, basically your, your chest just leaning on to the tops of your legs and then you can send your arms back the way. And here it's just about finding what feels better for you. And you can have your forehead on the ground or you can have your right cheek or your left cheek. Figuring that out. What we can do is we can bring ourselves um, just up a little and then we can actually head side to side. So we can take our left arm 
bend it towards the left and then take our right arm, put it on top of the left and then send both bodies in towards the left side. So just feeling a nice stretch on the right side of the body. We can stay there for a few breaths if that feels okay. And then we can come back to the center and head towards the right. So right arm, stretch it out towards the right side and the left arm comes on top and then we just fold down towards the right hand side and feeling a stretch on the left side of the body. Then coming back up to the center, we're gonna come up on a, into a tabletop position again. Um, and then what we're gonna do is in a tabletop position, we're gonna start to send, we're gonna start to fold from right to left. So inhaling, we're gonna just start to send our gaze towards the right and then basically trying to bring our chest and our, our the right side of our chest and our right hip, bringing them closer together. Inhaling center and then exhaling our left hip and our left chest and basically feeling like a folding in that, in that um, left side of our and then inhaling center and then exhaling to the right. Inhaling. And again, you don't want to feel any pain as if you're pinching anything. It should just feel like a, a like kind of gentle folding. And then inhaling. Center. Exhaling. Right side of the chest with the right side of our hip. And then you can just keep going with that a few more times at your own pace. Okay, and then once we've done that, still in tabletop position, and again, just as a just a reminder, checking with your wrist, how are they feeling? You can use the the, the, the knuckles to, to help you with this. Once we've done that, we're gonna start to introduce some circles in our um, chest and our upper back. So what we're gonna do on an inhale and then exhale, we're gonna start to keep our arms straight with that, that slight bend in the elbows. We're gonna drop our chest towards the left side and then we're gonna bring it round towards the right side. And then we're gonna push into our hands and start to curl our spine up the way again towards our left, dropping circling round towards the right and then rotating kind of like what we were doing with the cat cows and then you can bend your bend your elbows um, just slightly here and then just doing some circle movements with our chest our hips will move as well but it's mostly our chest that's going to be dominating this this movement pushing into our hands curling the spine towards the right, curling towards the left, dropping down towards the left, moving towards the right. And then we can change the direction. So towards the left, curling up, sending our spine towards the right, curling down towards the right. Hope this is making sense. And again, it's just movement. It might not look exactly like what I'm doing right now, but as long as we're moving the body, then we're doing it right. We keep doing a few more of those or what we can do is move over to the hips so just going to do some um, circles with the hips as well so again sending our hips towards the right and then sending the hips back and towards the left and up and then you just picture it as though you're trying to draw a circle with your hips Basically, the, the aim of the movement, so dropping our hips slightly as we come up and then curling down. 
Yeah, quite like that. Just picture a circle and go for it. And everything else is going to move as well, but this time it's more the hips that are dominating this movement. And then we can go the other direction. So setting the hips towards the left and then towards the right and then coming up more our knees and then another circle. And again, if the instructions don't make perfect sense, you can just watch what I'm doing. And again, when, when you look at what I'm doing and then you do it with your own body, it might not look exactly the same, but that's okay because all of our bodies are different and not so repetitive, it is just about moving. So that's the, the, the main thing here. So as long as you're moving, despite if it looks exactly like, like what I'm doing, then we're good. Cool. So once we've done that, we're going to head into a downward dog. So what I like, the way I like to get into a downward dog is basically just starting off by pushing into our hands, so feeling really strong in our hands, and then tucking our toes under, and then just keep sliding our core to lift our knees off the ground. And once we're here, I won't leave you here for long, but we can just start to produce a bit more movement in the hips. So just side to side, bringing our left knee down to the ground and our right knee, just introducing more fluidity. Once we've done a bit of that, we can start to send our chest towards our knees. And then we can start to straighten our knees. The downward dog. So here we're really pushing into our hands. And what we're doing is just trying to create as much space between the hands and hips as much as possible. So pushing into the hands and sending our hips up the way our gaze can go down, releasing the head. What we can do here is we can pedal. Feet again, just more movement. Perfect. And then what we can do from here is just start to crawl our hands towards our feet so we can come into a forward fold. Perfect. So bending our knees here, dropping the head releasing everything, feeling strong. So what we're going to do is start to curl our body up the way, but what I want you to think about is having quite strong glutes here, so they can protect you and they can support you coming up so all the pressure doesn't go into our lower back. So just squeezing gently, strong legs, coming up into side position. I already feel a bit sweaty after that. Great. Um, then what we're going to do now is a similar movement to before, so the side to side um, folds, let's say, um, just in standing position. So standing straight, slight bend in the knees. We're going to inhale, and as we exhale, we're just going to fold our right hip and trying to imagine our chest and our hips coming together. In here, I don't want you to just fall into it and maybe hurt, maybe like um, pinch or hurt yourself. It's basically just a gentle folding as far as we can go. Inhaling and then the same on the left. And your breath, like before, your breath is, is pushing you further into that movement. So. And the aim here is just to be as fluid as we possibly can. The speed at which you do this is going to be dictated by your breath. Just doing that a few times. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is a few more folds. Um, so from standing, we're going to go down, then we're going to come up again. We're going to do a few, uh, we're going to do that a few times and I'll give you the instructions along the way. 
So what might help is if you watch me doing it first and then you can go at it um, at your own pace. So I start off with an inhale and then exhale, drop the head, start to bring my chest down, round the shoulders, start to bring all my body down uh, all, start to bring my body down towards the ground, bend the knees slightly, hands come down to the ground. So here you can actually also bend your knees as much as you need to to get your hands down on the ground. And then as I inhale, I'm going to start to straighten my legs, bring my hands off the ground, and then start to curl vertebra by vertebra. So we're starting in my lower back, starting to curl mid-back, and then my upper back and chest, my shoulders start to straighten, my head is the last thing, and we're going to send that back. And here I really want you to think about having strong glutes. They're really going to help you going down and coming up so all that so that all of that movement doesn't fall to, to your back. So it's really going to protect you. So at your own pace, following along with me, so inhaling. Exhaling, head comes down, round the shoulders, start to round the spine all the way down. Inhaling, start to round that way. Shoulders come back, it's the last thing that comes back as well. Inhaling, exhaling, head, shoulders. Curling all the way down, strong glutes. Inhaling up. And just doing that a few more times at your own, at your own pace. Just remember not moving into something if it feels painful. So if you're if you're feeling pain anywhere, then maybe you don't have you don't have to go as deep. Maybe you can just do a halfway and up. Or if you don't like that movement, you can just move. Maybe we just move. Maybe that's all we want we need to do for this one. Just start to move. That is the aim. I think I've already said that maybe 50 times. So once we've done that, we're going to start to introduce a little bit of movement in the spine and the hips. And now we're just going to go a little bit deeper. So what we're going to start off with is just some spinal rotations and movements, I guess you could say. Um, in standing, again, you can just keep a slight bend in your knees, um, just picturing sending kind of our forehead up the way so just feeling quite straight not rigid just kind of sending that intention of feeling straight feeling alert and feeling ready we're going to take an inhale and as we exhale we're going to start to bend our bend our knees and we're going to start to send our hips back the way and our chest is going to come forward about half about halfway here and then as we Exhale, we're going to start to round our spine and start to straighten up. I hope that makes sense. Um, we're going to inhale again, bend our knees, like start to send our hips back the way, chest comes forward parallel to the ground, and then exhale, start to curl our, start to curl our pelvis back, curl our spine to bring it up the way. Okay, and again, if the instructions don't make too much sense, maybe just watching how, how I'm doing it. Um, so inhaling, and then exhaling. And again, just listening to cues that our body's giving us, 
any kind of pain signals, anything like that. Again, and keeping our shoulders back when we're at this kind of parallel movement here. We can just rest them on our knees. And exhaling, starting to curl up. Again, always keep keeping that intention in our glutes. Slight squeeze to protect the, the movements that our, that our lower back is doing. Then we're going to change the direction. So we'll do one more of, of that front one. So we're going inhaling and curling up. And then when you're here, I want you to curl down. So squeezing the glutes, starting to send our hips forward, bend the knees as we come down, and then sending our hip back, and then chest up. Hope that makes sense. Um, so squeezing the glutes a little bit, we're gonna drop our chest, head's gonna go first, and then start to curl our spine to that parallel position again, and then inhaling up with a straight spine. Chest comes down, send our head forwards, hips back, curl, and then inhale up. Drop the chest, drop shoulders. We're going to lead the movement with the hips. And then inhale up. And again, instructions might not be, might not be making too much sense, but maybe just watching the, the movement that I'm doing, that, that could help. Rolling up, and then dropping the chest, hips, lead the movement, leading with the head, coming up into that parallel position, and inhaling up. Great. So once you've done a few more of those, if that's feeling good, we're going to move into a more kind of fluid, wavy motion. Um, so what we're going to do is lead again with the head so we're gonna drop so as we lead them with the head so as we start to bring our head forward we're gonna drop the chest drop the belly drop the hips start to send our head forwards and then just let everything follow so letting the chest follow the belly follow as we then start to straighten up and send our head back the way and then hips chest coming up and again, maybe just watching me might, might be the best here. Um, so it's like a wave. If you've kind of seen uh, a beach and waves, that's what we're trying to replicate here. This is really great for decompressing the spine and just getting blood flowing to the spine. Again, if you sit a lot, this is great. Um, so, leading with the head, dropping the chest, dropping the belly, bending the knees. Start to send the head forwards and up. Let the chest, the belly, the hips follow and then sending the head back and then rounding. Just repeating that movement again. Head, chest, belly, hips down. And it's gonna look something like this. And it's funny because it's one of those things where you just have to do it and see. Um, basically, I'm going to say it again, movement. Um, there's not an exact science, it's basically just introducing a bit of flow. It's kind of like belly dancing, maybe that's, maybe that's what we're doing here. Um, so yeah, bending the head, I'll give you the instructions one more time and then I'll just let you kind of do it at your own pace. So, just keeping a slight bend in the knees, slight squeeze of the, of the bum. Um, and then dropping the chest as we send the head forwards, dropping the belly, hips, and then the head's gonna come up and let everything else follow, chest, belly, hips, as we send the head back. And then just repeating that movement. And again, maybe watching me might make a little bit more sense, but again, or my body might not look like your body, my movement might not look like your movement. Basically, if you're moving the legs, if you're moving the hips, 
if you're moving the belly, moving the chest, that's that's all that matters. Moving the head, you know, it might even just be like a kind of circle then that's that's great too just movement and, and blood flow i'm going to say that maybe another 100 times please bear with me um cool just keep going with that okay great once we've done that now we're gonna just really start to kind of go into specific parts of the body. So we're going to start with the hips. Um, more circle work, bit of a pattern. Um, we're going to start by sending the hips. So with the hip area, I know for me, sitting a lot, doing work, um, driving, can be very hard to kind of tune into what my hips are doing. Um, they can be quite tight sometimes. Um, so even if you feel like it, nothing's, it's not clicking, you're maybe not fully in tune kind of with the movement, that's okay. As long as you're sending your attention towards this area, that's perfectly fine. That's, that's what we want. Over time, it can get much better and much easier at tuning into specific parts of your body when, when you do it more and more. So just think about the hips, think about sending them to the left, or we can start with the right, whatever, whatever you want. Um, I'm starting with the left, and then we're going to start to send them forwards as we send the hips to the right, and then sending the hips back and around. So again, it's just that kind of circle movement that we've been doing over and over. To the left, round. To the right and this might look really silly and that's fine because if you're doing this from home no one's watching maybe kids or a pet or a partner and if they judge then they're just jealous they want to be doing this um to the left and then round and really just starting to get flu fluid in our hips um Spending attention there, getting blood flowing in that area, and then from repeating that, so go in the other direction, so from the right to the left and back. And then basically, once you've got the hand with it, just start to, to move. Uh, just picture drawing a circle, that's the best way I can describe it, picture drawing a circle with your head. It doesn't need to be rigid, it doesn't need to be, you know, like I, I did five on this side, I need to do five on Just move. You can kind of do like this movement where you, whoop, <laughs> where you start from the back, go to the front, from the front, go to the back. It's completely up to you. Okay, and once you've done that a few times, we're gonna do a kind of picture Let's use shapes, I'm liking that. We're gonna do a kind of, let's say a square, for example. So we're gonna focus on the hips still, and we're gonna think about dropping our, again, left or right doesn't matter. I'll start with the left, dropping the left side towards the left, and then from the left, moving over to the right, and keep a bend in your legs, it's gonna feel quite strong in your legs, which is good. And then from the right, coming up to the right, from the right, straight to the left. It's a good square. Dropping down to the left, over to the right, up to the right, over to the left. Dropping down, over, up. So again, it could even be like a circle, I guess, um, or a square, whatever shape helps. Um, going with that but picturing we've got two kind of let's say like glass panels for example and there's this jug of water here um, we're not deviating front and back we're really trying to stay kind of straight let's say not straight but straight ish um, cool and then you've done one direction changing direction so I'm going to go to the right now and over up 
then maybe watching might help. But then it's just it's just moving. Moving. Down and then up. And just doing that a few times. Cool. So once we've done that, we're gonna so we did circ a circle a circular movement with our whole body. So now we're gonna move to a circular movement in the hips. So kind of just isolating the hips now. Um so what we're gonna do is again the body is gonna move whenever there's any type of, of movement, but what we're aiming is to have the hips dominate. So it's fine if everything else moves, but our, our attention is at the hips for this one. So what we're gonna do is start to send our hips back as we bend our knees. As we bend our knees and then curl our um, curl our pelvis down as we straighten our legs and come up. So again, might help watching me um, sending our hips back, and then when we're in this position, sending our kind of like cat cow. When we're in this position, squeezing our glutes a little bit, rounding, starting to bring. Our hips forward and up. So I won't talk and I'll, I'll, I'll just do it a few times and then we can see. And again, using our breath, so inhaling, exhaling, whichever way works for you. Once you've done that a few times, we can go the other direction. So what I like to do is have my legs just a bit further than shoulder distance apart. Um, and I like to have my feet. This all also depends on just kind of the shape of your hips. Um, but I like to have my feet kind of diagonal, so not straight on. Um, and then what I like to do is, so you're squeezing your glutes as you bend your knees and you start to send your knees forwards and then hips come down and then when you're in that position you're just going to curl hips back and come up so again might help watching me so and it can help to actually look forward as well um because sometimes what i find is if i'm looking at other parts of my body they are moving quite a lot more which is not necessarily a bad thing but takes away from, from the hips because we will be moving to our to our chest in just a minute. We're going to move on to the chest now. Um, I'm going to start with our hands, our hips. And we're basically just going to start to move the chest, just really breathe into the chest, get it. Get it open, we're nice and fluid. Um, the breath is especially great for, for this movement because it really helps in kind of expanding um, and just creating a little bit of space. So again, I always just check into other parts of my body before I before I move into something. So maybe seeing are, are my knees slightly bent, am I feeling kind of more agile? Um, and then we can get into it. So as we inhale. Really start to feel that chest expanding and then sending it forwards. And then as we exhale, maybe rounding our shoulders and starting to send our chest back. As we're rounding, we're not popping them up, so we're trying to keep them neutral. And inhaling, out and then exhaling back. And then maybe we can go side to side. So inhaling, let's see if this, whatever, not. Sure, I'm hoping this, this view might be easier, but inhaling and the sides. And then what we can do here is do those circles. So just again trying to picture doing a circle with our with our chest. So inhaling, sending our chest towards the left, bring it round towards the right, and then back. And again, just 
it's one of those things where it's just about feeling into it. Um, as long as it, nothing's hurting, then you just keep keep going with it. And you might feel a few cracks back there. Always great. Um, so yeah, and I talked through it a bit more. So neutral position, sending our chest to the left and forward, and then round towards the right. You can help to curl the shoulders and kind of move the shoulders a little bit. And then return. Again, it's just about rhythm. <laughs> and then we can change the direction. Great for, for, for anyone who sits down quite a lot because, you know, typing, texting, driving can really kind of shorten the space in this area. So just moving around. And again, what can help is just looking forward. So find a point to focus on um, and everything else is moving and that's okay, but it's chest is the, really dominating this movement. Cool. So once we've done that, we can do that square movement again. So similar to the hips, sending our hips, sending our hips, sending our shoulders, our chest towards the left and then down and then down towards the right, and then up towards the left, up, up towards the right, up towards the left, down towards the left, down towards the right, up towards the left, and then just picturing like we're doing like a, a square with the chest. And, and I remember when I first did this movement, it was like, wow, I've never paid that much attention to this area before. Um, and then changing direction, so up towards the right, down towards the right, down towards the left, up towards the left. And again, picturing as if we have those two, play, two planes of glass, but we're trying to keep them centre. We're not trying to deviate them too much. Great. So what we can do after all that movement is just move a little bit more but now just kind of got that blood flowing but you know just really kind of letting anything else that still needs to be let go let me go now um, and what we can do is some twists so we can start off with your legs kind of just slightly further than hip distance apart um, and then what you can do is we can start off by sending the hips back towards the right and then if your belly can fall and then your chest and then your head but what I like to do if you can see my feet is start to go onto my tippy toes and then start to send just slightly send my left knee towards the right and that creates a little bit more space for your hips to move around and then your arms can follow and turn back down to center starting to send the chest the hips chest um, belly, chest, head, rotating that, the opposite foot back and then just come around. And again here is just about creating a little bit of fluidity, basically just coming backwards and forwards if we really can um, take it to its most simplest form. It's just like introducing a little bit of twisting Twisting the, the, the kind of core a little bit as well. Then we can release the arms. Again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't feel perfect because this isn't about perfection. It's about being fluid. Cool. Losing my balance. Um, great. So we're almost done. Um, two more postures to go. So to kind of end, let's say, um, we're going to move into a breathing squat. Um, so with the with this type of movement, I like to have my legs quite wide apart. Um, and you want to, your knees are kind of heading out in the direction of your feet, so they're not turned inwards. Um, and you feel it's about feeling kind of strength going down on um, strength 
diving towards your feet so they're really supporting you in this but also feeling as though you're pu like pulling the ground in between your feet apart and that's going to just turn on everything um and then being quite straight so our head is um our head is kind of heading up feeling like maybe there's like a string pulling us up and then we're going to inhale arms come up and as we exhale we're going to start to bend our our knees and just start to send our um hips down and then our arms are going to follow and then inhale push again feel that ground as if you're pulling it apart strong legs up to standing arms come up exhale just feeling as though we're sitting down as though we're sitting down on the chair and then your arms can follow and then inhale coming up and with your squat i'll show you it from side on from a pearl eye so so inhale and then exhale you might that might be enough for you today you might be able to go a bit further just to whatever point it feels comfortable for you obviously challenging yourself you know quite strong in the legs knowing that you can do it and that you that, that you are strong but not pushing yourself beyond um beyond what your body is capable of doing and then exhaling down this is really good just creating energy um just the squat but great for the legs the hips just doing that for you more times. Great, so last thing, um, you don't have to kind of do this while while I'm out on the video, you can turn this off as soon as I've um, give, given you an instruction. But what we're going to do is basically just release absolutely, well try to release absolutely everything in the body if it's in tension, kind of whatever we're, we're holding in the body, just to create kind of more energy, get that vibration in the body going. Um, and basically it's just another form of movement. Um, but what we can do is we can start off by just coming up onto our, the um, kind of our toes, balls of our feet. And we're just gonna start to bounce, just at the tops of our feet, start to bounce, just gently. Nothing too hard. It can be quite strong in the calves, um, so you might want to come down and then come up again. And um, or if you don't really feel like you want to do that, what you can do is just feet on the ground, and you can just start to bounce. So basically, just bouncing at your knees, and we're going to start just by checking in with absolutely everything. So starting with our feet, our calves, and our knees, quads, hamstrings. Go. It's just releasing if it feels like we're tight or strong just letting that go we want to feel kind of like jelly like during this quite nice um in our belly we're sending intention can we release it our core our diaphragm our chest our arms just really feeling heavy as heavy as we possibly can and then our head releasing our jaw and then just moving and vibrating and pulsing and whatever you want to call it um you might want to move side to side on your mat and we're just going to do that you can do that for you can pause this video um but we're going to do this for maybe a minute you can do it for five minutes ten minutes you can put on a song put your favorite song doesn't matter the genre, uh, as long as you like it, and just do this for as long as you need to. Maybe you can sigh, <sighs> really just letting everything go. You can close your eyes, start to move your head, do those circles again, move it side to side. Just feels comfortable. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I hope you feel a little bit more loose in your body, um, got that blood flowing, feeling energised or feeling relaxed, kind of whatever time of day that you've done it. And yeah, goodbye.